Hello comrades! Welcome to the channel and the obnoxious anarchist. I do want to look at this video of Trump because it is incredibly scary. Just to give a little bit of backstory here, uh, he's talking about Mike Michael Rydell. M Michael Rydell, who was a Portland anti-fascist who shot and killed uh, a right-wing fascist neo-Nazi in self-defense and was uh, later murdered execution style by the police. So instead of just arresting this guy, they knew it was him, he had admitted to it, he did an interview on Vice, he knew the police were coming for him. They didn't just arrest him normally and then, you know, bring him to the court, no. They shot him in cold blood, they shot him. And they could probably deny, 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 say, oh, we didn't, we didn't go there with the intention to shoot, he got violent, he got this, that, whatever. Let's just listen to Trump here. And I'll pause it at the, the necessary uh, spaces. That one would take 15 minutes to set. 15 minutes. He says he wants to go to Portland so bad because that would take 15 minutes to set. We want to, to go set. to Portland so bad. That one would take 15 minutes to set. 15 minutes. And the man that shot another innocent man. This was an innocent man shot. See, right now he's talking about the man that... that uh, Michael Rydell had uh, pronounced Reinhold, my bad. So right now Trump is talking about the man that was that was killed by by uh, Reinhold. Killed, instantly killed. I said, what happened? Well, we haven't arrested him. Two days, three days went by. We sent in the U.S. Marshals. Took 15 minutes, it was over. He's so proud that it took 15 minutes to apprehend this man. Let's see what happened. 15 minutes, it was over. We got him. They knew who he was, they didn't want to arrest him, and 15 Look, minutes that ended. Listen to that. They knew who he was, and they didn't want to arrest him. This, th these are federal agents, and this is the, pres the current president of the United States talking. They knew who he was, they didn't want to arrest him, and 15... They knew who he was, and they didn't want to arrest him. So they knew they knew that he murdered somebody, but they didn't want to arrest him. What what are you what are you implying here? That surely they wanted to kill him. This was an execution. There's no doubt about it. And uh, Punks for Progress says that the scumbag that Reinhold killed was a member of Patriot Prayer. Yeah, he was a high. He was a uh, an influential member, and he had ties to police. He had ties ties to mil military, as many of these guys do. So it makes sense that the police would react in this way, but what kind of a society are we living in in which we can just... Look at this, he just admitted it. They don't. They didn't want to arrest him, they wanted him dead. Because he killed their friend. <laughs> Anarchism says, why are we discussing this fucking racist ignorant? Well, we're talking about Trump today because he purely just admitted that the death... That the killing of Michael Reinhold, who was an anti-fascist from Portland, his death at the hands of the police was, in fact, an execution. As Trump says right here. They knew who he was, they didn't want to arrest him. They knew who he was, they didn't want to arrest him. And they knew who he was and they didn't want to arrest him. And what's even more telling is just how he bumbles on his words right now. Listen to this. 15 minutes that ended. Anyway, but, and they called themselves. 15 minutes, that ended, any while, uh, and then he deflects the conversation to talk about violent Antifa terrorists, even though he just admitted that the fucking federal police force killed an anti-fascist in a terrorist manner, execution style. Any while, but, and they call themselves peace, any while, but, and the 15 minutes, that ended, any while, but, any and they call any while, any while, any but, while. and they call them, any while, but, and they call themselves Peaceful protesters. And you call your police force peaceful. Anyways, yeah, I took that video from Majority Report. Go check them out. Uh, they, they, I, I saw this last night, I think at around 2 in the morning, dude. It made me sick to my stomach. I couldn't believe it. So you have police killing people with impunity here in America. And you have people in France, Paris, fighting tooth and nail to fight against a bill that would allow cops to be able to do these kinds of things with impunity. Yo. We gotta pick, we, we, we gotta, we gotta get our shit together, and that's why I fucking hate it when these people talk about, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, sectarianism on, in the left. 
sectarianism in the left. Yes, I, I, I do understand that historically, authoritarian communists have made mistakes. Historically, anarchists have made mistakes. There's no doubt about it. But the real mistake happens when we divide and start fighting one another. That's what allows fascism to seep in and take control and, and stay the hegemonic power, is when we start fighting each other. And I do know that a lot of anarchists, they, they don't have any, any conceptualizations of what the state is. You know, so it is, it is a tricky thing. And you do have communists who do want to build cults of personality so that they can just take power. Or, when they assume those positions of power, they like it so much that they just want to stay there. These are anarchist critiques of the state that need to be taken serious by communists if we want to move forward. As well as the fact that a lot of anarchists need to realize that we do need some kind of organization, some kind of state structure, even if you don't call it a state. You might call it community defense battalions or something, but at the end of the day, there will, be, there will need to be some kind of organized group who has the legitimate, a monopoly on the legitimate use of violence. How will we protect the revolution from scumbags like this? The scumbags who exist in the police force who can kill somebody with impunity. You know what I mean? This was a death for a death. This was this was capital punishment. This was death by firing squad. Well, it's like I say, I'm always optimistic for the future of socialism, you know? But it doesn't mean that 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 we have to lose sense of our own self-critique. Like, whatever structures we are using to organize a socialist economy or a socialist society, we need to make sure that there are checks and balances within those systems that uh, push it in a more voluntary position, in a, in, a, in a way where people can actually have their say, so that the hierarchies are not bottom down, but we look at things really as a horizontal playing field. And I'm not delusional, I'm not gonna deny that you know, some kind of community organization to defend the revolution, like, dude, to me that's still a state. So I'm not delusional in that way, where we're just playing semantics and stuff like this.